guys, and welcome back uh, to, oh, what is it, Tunga, <laughs> I guess what it is, or Tumba, which by the way is, uh, is a video game uh, that I used to play when I was a kid, he had like this weird uh, primal ass dude who had like pink hair and you were fighting pigs and trying to find like these pig sleeve bag things, it's crazy, <laughs> crazy, but Tumba stands for this might be awesome. Uh, welcome back. Uh, we're going to be talking about uh, more things that I would suggest to you that are pretty damned awesome and or worth your time. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so let's start off with YouTube stuff. Uh, I have two videos that I want to suggest to you uh, for YouTube content uh, wise. One of them is a podcast which I just found. I loved it. I thought it was great. Um, it is a Joe Rogan podcast where he talks to Farahit something, uh, but he is GSP's uh, personal trainer, uh, one of many, but he's one of them, and he is just a blast to listen to. Like he's, I don't know, it's just a podcast where it talks about some uh, fitness stuff, quite a little bit of it, more about like the nature of fitness and what is good for you and etc. And then the other half of the podcast is uh, philosophy, which is extremely interesting. Uh, science, the philosophy around science, so to speak. Um, yeah, <laughs> I would highly suggest that. It's a very good podcast, very interesting, engaging. Um, and I don't know, those those podcasts specifically are always special to me because I'm not in school anymore, yeah? Uh, nor am I in like college, like some people who are my age. But uh, I don't know, I still, I still like to learn. And that was very much a podcast where I felt like I learned a bunch. But yeah, <laughs> um, the other thing that I would like to suggest onto you guys. You know, I really should write these down because I don't remember. <laughs> I remember I had one that I was like, oh shit, and that was that one that I really wanted to suggest to you guys. It's just a really good podcast. Um, but it's also, it's like, it's fun, but it's also jokey. I don't know, but I don't remember what the other one was. I, I have music for you guys this week and TV shows. <laughs> so yeah, uh, let's get into that because I can't think of the uh, YouTube one. Hopefully it'll come to me. <laughs> shit. Oh, oh, by the way, thank you guys so much for telling me what you guys uh, liked. Some of you guys uh, linked me to some abridged series, which I love. It's like an anime thing, <laughs> but I, I, I hope to, uh, I haven't done it yet, but I want to reply to that comment with the ones that I enjoy. Abridged uh, is basically just like, it's a silly anime redubbing of it, basically. Point being, um, is that the next thing I'm going to suggest onto you guys is music. Our music segment, music I love so dear, and uh, this segment may not be for all of you. <laughs> the reason why is because I like almost all music. Uh, so I have a very vast variety of things that I enjoy, and hopefully you guys find some sort of fun in as well. But, uh, what are they called? Let me find it, because <laughs> yeah. Ah, yes. Uh, so the first song uh, that I'm going to link to you guys is one that I, uh, I like it a lot, but it sounds like something that I've heard before, but the more I listen to it, the more I just think that's just because it's the tone and the beat that it goes for, but it's different. I imagine it's a popular song that got played a lot on the radio or whatnot. Uh, it's called The Stirs, the One Night Only. I think it's called One Night Only is what it's called. But I love it. It's got this really uh, David Bowie kind of feel to it, but it's super fun. Like it's, it, To me, it seems like a proper evolution of that type of music um, in our day and age. Um, and I'm sure everyone's already heard it. If you haven't, I love it so much. It's such a beautiful song with just, just the way it revs you up. It, and it, it's classic, but and it feels familiar, but it's like refined uh, for me. And again, I think everyone's heard it already but me. But I just found it a couple weeks ago, and I've been listening to it ever since. And it's so, so good. Uh, you can work out to it. You can fucking dance to it. You can just play video games in the background and have it fucking jamming. And you're like, yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, but yeah, I just like the tone of it. It has a very like ba da 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 kind of like a beat to it, and it's really really great. Uh, I'll highly suggest that one. Give that a listen if you will. Links in the description as always. Go go team <laughs> go team. And that song is very upbeat, happy, bouncy, etc. Uh, the next song is very very chill. It's very calm. And with this song, song specifically, the reason why I liked it um, is because it did something that I haven't seen done in a while with music. Where it has, it, it has its symphony and it has its vocals and all this lovely stuff, uh, and it's a very chill song. It's like a chill step kind of song, um, but it has this consistent beat throughout it, and I just love it. And, and it's almost like this beat, this consistent bop, 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 
but whatever kind of beat it is, I don't really remember what it is, but I just remembered it was like home. Like it felt, it felt really cool that this single beat had enough light on it, but everything else was still like shining around it. But it just, it felt really cool. And you'll have to listen to the song, but it's very chill, like melody kind of song um, with some vocals. But it has this, this consistent beat, and I just don't know what it is. Let me know if you guys, it happened to you too. But I just narrowed in on that beat because it was always there. Um, and I just started to focus on it, and it gave me such calmness. It's almost like when you're trying to meditate and you're trying to empty your mind. You're only you're supposed to limit what you're thinking about, and then hopefully, every the one thing that you are thinking about will dissipate as well. Kind of felt like that. It allowed me to get my like my vision clear, like when thinking. I don't know, I just felt like it was a really cool uh, song, very chill, very calm, if you're in that mood, if it's raining, turn the shit on, it'll do you, it'll do you wonders. Uh, next, uh, next up are TV shows that I would suggest you guys uh, maybe watch if you have time this week, maybe don't, whatever you want to do, <laughs> whatever you want to do, do it. But, uh, the TV shows that I'm going to suggest to you, uh, one of them is anime, the first one <laughs> I will suggest to you is not. And little plus, all of the uh, TV shows happen to be on Netflix, so if you want to watch them there, you can. Now the first one <laughs> I would suggest you guys uh, should watch um, is not an anime, <laughs> so again for people who are like, fuck off with that weeb shit, I got you. Although this is kind of a meet you halfway <laughs> kind of a deal. But there is a series which I think is so amazing and it's called Into the Badlands. Um, it's based off of a comic book or something like that, but it's the only movie that I feel like does <laughs> does the the evolution to a different medium painfully well. Um, and that medium, in this case, is comic books uh, to uh, actual TV live action show. But in the comic books, the comic books do a lot of like anime craziness, basically. Uh, so, for instance, the whole premise of the TV show is that guns are outlawed um, and that the world got divided into factions, um, except there's no guns. It's not super industrial. It's If anything, it sometimes rides the line of being a little bit steampunky within certain factions. Um, but the premise is is that there there are these things called God, what are clickers, something like that. Shit. Clippers. I think, I think clippers is what they're called or something like that. But basically, it stands for, like, clipping wings off of, of a bird so it can't fly. Um, and their job is basically the warden for that overlord. So in each in each area, there is, like, an uh, an overlord, like a, like a faction person who's at the very top of that faction. Very gamey as well. Um, and we follow the story of a badass clipper who is, like, one of the best fighters. And that's what makes this really cool is that... It, it like amph it emphasizes combat, like actual fighting, um, but it does it in a way that's charming but not cheesy. At least for me. Um, so, for instance, in the ho the whole premise is that you're following Sunny, this this main the main character who is this like ultimate clipper. He's a fucking badass and he's super good at fighting. Um, and this kid who happens to have something special about him. I won't spoil it, but it's very anime <laughs> and it's very very cool. Um, and it's essentially the premise of him training this young fighter uh, to be to survive essentially and to deal with his 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 curse um, But it's very very cool in the sense that the the combat is a bit larger than life at times But it's grounded enough to where it seems fun and it's it's done in a way that isn't Cheesy like you know when you see some like Japanese kung fu fighting movies a person will do like ten backflips in a row land and then do like a fucking palm to the chest and sends them flying. It's not like that. Um, at best, it is just very choreographed fight scenes where sometimes it gets a bit larger than life, but that's only in com in combination with supernatural shit that's rare. Uh, so yeah, it, it mostly it's it's grounded, but yet it's it's like a kung fu movie. It's like to me, it's like the best kung fu movie that exists. Uh, I love it to tears, and I haven't actually watched the next season of it. It has six uh, six episodes each season, but those episodes are an hour apiece, around an hour. So uh, yeah, I would highly advise that one if you guys like are into like kung fu movies, or even if you're not and you're more into like pretty intense stories and just interesting characters. It's a really cool show. I really really like, it. and I, I haven't I haven't had one person that I've suggested it to that hasn't come back being like that was fucking sick. <laughs> that was amazing. So I'd highly advise you guys check that out because it is so so good. Okay. Now, the other one that I would suggest to you is is some weeb shit. <laughs> it's an anime, and I want to let you guys know about it for those of you guys who like anime. Um, the, this show, this show I, I heard the premise of, and I thought, 
Sounds like a discount uh, mob 100%. Uh, if no one knows anime, then never mind. <laughs> but basically, I just didn't think it was, it didn't sound that cool. But this show, this anime, I'm gonna call it a show. This show executes so perfectly what it does. And it's an anime that is huge into characters. So if you like things like Assassination Classroom or, or things like that to just have such a perfect limelight on character development and, and it's a goofy one, by the way. Um, it's a goofy anime with like a crazy spin on it where it's just a, it, that it's a comedy anime. It's a comedy anime. So it's not like this person is saving the world or saving the girl or whatever. In fact, the premise is so batshit that it's just... You can't really go wrong with comedy in this sense. Okay, let me explain to you guys what the hell the premise is. The TV show, first of all, is called The Disastrous Life of Psyche K. And the premise is batshit. <laughs> the premise um, is that there is this kid uh, who ends up, uh, we follow him around, I think when he's like 15, 16, something like that. He's basically God. <laughs> he has extraordinary psychic powers. Uh, across the entire spectrum of weird shit, psychic power stuff, like reading minds, uh, seeing through walls, um, and all this nonsense. Uh, it's, it's beautiful nonsense, but, um, the whole premise is that he, he's basically a god living on, like, if you were to detach yourself from the comedy, it's, it's, it's showcasing what, what life would be if you were a god. <laughs> if you had, like, every feasible amount of power, and that you could change things at every whim. Um, and you're probably like, well, what the hell? If that is the main character, then why? what's stopping him from blowing up the world? It's a mixture of his parents and and his friends, I think. Um, but basically, you're just following his life. You're going through his life each and every day, and each character type is, like, perfectly unique. Uh, so there's one character type that is named Mondo, which is just, like, his brain-dead friend who loves him to pieces but he, uh the main character hates him and it's hilarious because the main character can read everyone's mind and that's kind of where the comedy comes from anyways um but he can't read mondo's his, his like wannabe best friend uh because he's so stupid <laughs> nothing's happening up top side either that or he's like a god himself i don't know but they also do other tropes that i feel like other anime does as well like baka and Tess does it a little bit uh there's one anime where you're it's basically like you're I don't know. It's it, the whole gimmick is that you're like in a fantasy world and they're making fun of other anime <laughs> and the tropes within it. Psyche K is very similar. It makes fun of tropes within anime. So one of the tropes within anime is that there's always this this like perfect, uh, unrealistic, crazy uh, high school student woman who's like the main heroine of the series, and she's always like larger than life, super kind, perfect almost. Uh, but because Psyche K can, uh, he read minds, that's his main thing, uh, is he can see right through her, like, her facade, where she is basically just super self, self-absorbed, and, like, cares about her appearance so much, and she, like, woos every dude she ever comes in contact with, and because he can hear her, like, monologue about her talking about how perfect she is, it puts him off almost, but then again, he just doesn't like anyone, because he's kind of like, I'm a god, <laughs> get away from me. It puts him off a little bit from her, um, and she picks up on that right away, and then she starts to be like, why is this nothing of a human not acknowledging my perfectness? Uh, and then she keeps trying to get in his face and, and trying to like mess him up. Um, and he's just deadpan the whole time, just fucking rock. And this leads her to being like obsessed with him <laughs> because you're like, why the fuck don't you love me like everyone else does? Um, and, and there's so many moments like that and so many other characters start to get developed and it has 24 episodes So if you want to binge watch them also, it's not like a black clover Which has like fucking 10 minutes of actual goddamn show within a 20 minute segment anyways <laughs> God fucking damn it. Anyways, um, yeah, I would highly suggest it if you are looking for just like fun comedy anime If you're feeling down like you're sad or whatever and you just want to see something that's fun and happy and makes you feel good To me, this is the epitome of that anime. It, it highlights the tropes within characters so perfectly and it, and it cranks it to a hundred then it brings them back down to one and again i just the whole time when watching this series i didn't feel i felt happy all the way through like it just made it just so happy and fun loving i would suggest this uh to you massively uh i think it's just great uh, i i'm so sad that season two which is the next 24 episodes uh is on netflix but it's uh, it's subbed. But uh, season one is dubbed, and it's 24 episodes of dubbed videos. But me, having seen all of them twice, I want my nuke season that isn't dubbed yet. Fuck! <laughs> God damn it! 
Anyways, if you guys want to see some fun love and TV show anime uh, garbage, there it is. <laughs> Weeb shit, there it is. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Uh, again, as always, let me know what you guys want me to watch in the comments down below. Uh, videos that you want to suggest to me, songs that I may love. Uh, I like a lot of music. Uh, I tend to not like the extremes of all music, though. Like a dubstep that has insane sounds. I'm a little bit... <laughs> too and and rock and roll that is more or less just five minutes of screaming <laughs> not exactly a fan of those but uh yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed that um hopefully you guys will tell me what you guys are hyped about and what was entertaining for you this week uh my name is logan and or frost thank you so much for your time subscribe button above me two videos to my right and goodbye